I want to create wings that flap and that they are linked to the head so that whenever the head is animated, the wings would follow. And this will create the impression that the character is actually flying. For that, I will go to my front view and create the form of the wing with the line tool. So I'm going to do it outside so that it's clear. If it was a butterfly, for example, I'd go like this. See here, I chose, I chose corner, but then I can go to modify and select all these and smooth them out. Also, I can um, choose Bezier corner because I would want to grab, for example, in XY this and give it a different curve. All right, so let's say that this is a good form. Bezier will just uh, move the two handles at the same time. Bezier corner will move them one at a time. So whenever you need to break the tangency, you actually choose Bezier corner. Otherwise, whenever you want it to be continuous, you choose Bezier. Okay, so that's the form of the wing. I'm going to extrude it. Say by 0 0.5. I want it to be really thin. All right, so it's thin now, and I'll give it a color. Now, if I rotate it, it's going to rotate around its center, which is a bad thing. I need it to rotate around this edge here. So I need to change the position of the center of rotation, which is called the pivot point. So with this selected, I go to hierarchy and choose affect pivot only. And now I can move it to the proper place. I don't stay here, it's dangerous to stay here actually, so I'll go back to modify. And now when I rotate, it rotates around the center. Now let's see what we can do with this. If I add a modifier called mirror, and choose copy, I will have two instead of one. All right. If I said if I add a modifier called mirror, I would have to. But if I try to rotate, they rotate at the same time. So that's not the final solution. So before I add the mirror, I can add, for example, a bend modifier. And by changing the angle, I get both of them to do the same thing, but that's not really what I'm after. So let's change the axis to Y and try the same. Okay, we have something, but it's not what we want. If we change it to X, we get something. All right, it's good, but it's actually bending. It works if I do it very fast. It deforms a little bit. It can be a solution, but I'm not gonna use it. So I'll delete the bend modifier. Instead, I'm gonna add FFD two by two by two. Freeform deformation. If I selected the points here and I moved them to the back, both will move to the back at the same time. So let's uh, work on this solution. So let's say that we have it here like this. I'll press Auto key and I'll move say five frames or less, let's say three frames, and then I'll move it to the back. So if I scrub, that's what I have. Now I need to duplicate the cycle. So I'm going to go like this. And every time I select all of them, all right, I select all of them, press Shift, and duplicate the cycle like this. And remember that this applies to the whole, to both wings at the same time. So like this, if I press play now, all right, if I want it to be faster, I can select the whole thing and I can right click and choose configure and show selection range. When I show the selection range, I can actually scale down the keyframes and therefore the whole animation would be faster. 
All right, I can scale it down a bit more, and then I can make copies of this. All right, and then I will take go back to frame one. I will take this and place it here and move it a bit to the back and link it to the head. So now it will follow the head. The head is already animated. So when I play the final animation, it will animate like a butterfly. <laughs> 